All right, it's a frosty ass Monday morning and we're headed back to the same spot we were at uh, last week. Sorry for the white balance there. Uh, because I lost my toque along the way somewhere and I'd like to get it back because it was an Arc'teryx toque and I really, really like it. And it was like $40 toque and I catch some more fish at the same time. So that's the plan for today. All right, some good news. Uh, part of the mission was to find my toque and I found my toque. It was inside my hip waders or my chest waders. Uh, somehow it was stuck up inside of them. When I stuck my foot into it, lo and behold, found them. So I figured I'd just do a quick talk too about the uh, gear that I'm using because I had a couple comments on some other platforms about it. Um, so I am using a bass rod effectively here. This is a um, 13 Fishing Fate Black. Let's see, right there. This is a moderate 7.4. And this is primarily what I use for my frog pitching. Um, now, rod weights is a bit subjective. Um, you, you know, moderate, moderate, heavy um you know medium light all that because it's really sub subjective to the manufacturer so someone's moderate it might be someone else's heavy so keep that in mind whenever you're buying rods i mean i've had dozens of rods in my life and no two that have said you know heavy fast have been the same by any means not even the same diameters um so that's what i'm pitching jigs on because they are three eighths ounce um generally is what i'm using uh, and the other one is a shimano claris and this is a really nice rod for just general uh, use for trout and salmon. I'm pretty happy with it. It's a bit l heavy for tossing really light lures, but it's um, seven foot long. And here you go. Here's the specs on it. And the lure rating is one quarter to half ounce. And that's pretty decent. That's pretty accurate. And that's pretty good for pitching most of the lures that I, that I throw. Um, now I am using a quantum reel here. Energy S330, so it's a 3,000 sized reel. It's a good all-rounder. Like if you were to have a one rod kind of um, one rod quiver, this would be a really good setup. The reel's a bit heavy, some people think, but I like it. It's got a lot of metal on it, but it's braided up with, or it's a uh, spooled up a 30 pound braid and then 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. Um, and some people think that's heavy, but a lot of the times you can you can pull a snag out then if you actually do have a snag down there. Now the fish aren't wary of this line of 20 pound fluorocarbon. I never have a problem catching fish. Um, generally that's my go-to for almost all fishing except for maybe trout, which I'll go down to say a 12 pound for uh, trout fishing. And then same thing on this one, although this is spooled up right now with 40 pound braid and same thing, 20 pound leader. I'm actually at a platform where they would have had a drag line and there's actually a drag line chute effectively running down this slope here so what i'm going to do is simply follow that because it's the easiest but as you can see it's pretty steep so i gotta put the phone down because that's well over 45 degrees that's probably a 60 degree slope and that's where i'm going you can hear the river down there all right i gotta get going well, there's my first fall of the day. Still got to go down a ways. As you can see, this is kind of bushwhacky. And that's how most of my fishing spots are, in case you're wondering. So, uh, again, if you're planning on following my lead, be prepared for this. All right, we're down at the river now. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, now, I am later in the day than I normally start for Coho. It is about 9 o'clock right now. And I usually get out first light, so I'm there when the sun rises, but where I normally fish on this river is out in the open. Um, and anyone who's fished for coho knows they're always bitey in the morning. They're the most bitey in the morning. And part of that is due to the sun hitting them and warming them up and they get all frisky. And you'll see them start jumping and all that kind of fun stuff. Now the river's also lower today than it was last time I was here. Last time I was here was at 13 CMS, and today it's about nine. So uh, water level's quite, quite a bit lower, um, a little more than a quarter lower, which is good, because I can get, get across the river more easily in a lot of places, which is nice, because I'm gonna wanna do that. And uh, it also makes it a little harder. The fish will be a bit more concentrated, but they're also, as the water gets low and clear, and this is 
already crystal clear, they get a little more wary. So I'm gonna have to be a little more stealthy this time than I was the last time, which is why I'm approaching the way I'm approaching. Anyhow, I'm gonna get to fishing because I'm almost at my first casting spot. And I'll try to get the video of it. of the day nice uh, nice chrome four pounder uh, looks like it might be a buck but it's probably a doe given how pudgy it is um, yep on the spinner a beautiful spot here uh, just on the far bank there's a bunch of fish uh, yeah that's a good start to the day I forgot to hit record the, the camera was or the phone was sitting up on that rock I forgot to record but got another one he was actually way tucked up behind that rock way up there um, that's where this one came from all the ones near me were ignoring it so I kept tossing a little further and a little further and a little further and got that one out of there beautiful fish about four pounds on the jig so we're up to two now and all the fish that we're holding here have no interest in anything so I think I'm actually gonna probably move down river I'll do a few more casts, see if there's anything else hiding up there. But uh, these ones want nothing to do with me. Glad I didn't uh, stop fishing that upper section there because this guy's a good sized, uh, that's a good six or seven pounds right there. Oops, buck just came right out there. Yeah, nice buck. Put him out of misery. That's a six and a half, seven pounder right there. And she's hatch, as you see. Missing the top of its fin though, but it's not rotted, just missing the top of his fin. Looks like it got bit, probably seal. Anyways. All right, so there's a story to why there's a log floating down the river. <laughs> I just used that to unhook my other jig from down there. And then I thought to myself, I wonder if I could reach the jig that was up there that I got in the tree. And uh, no, I couldn't reach it. So I just threw it at it and luck would have it. It popped off and dropped down the line and everything still attached. So I got my jig back. 
I need some new paint and an eye, but I can fix that at home. Anyways, I'm happy. I haven't lost any gear today. That's a successful day and uh, I'm happy. Okay, I finally got the camera out for one. Jesus, I'm really bad at this. But uh, looks like we got a nice silver dough. Very happy about that. Let's get this puppy in. We're gonna keep this one. Because uh, it's another hatchery and that makes four. Oh. Good fish, nice silver fish. Nice silver fish. Beauty, absolutely beauty. Nice cromer. All right, we are done for today. Actually, we were done about four hours ago. Um, but I decided I would spend some time scouting across the river now and check out some other spots down below where I was fishing here. And uh, found some fish. Um, seems like they were pretty heavily targeted over the weekend by coming to rubbish and uh, throwing crap was left around. Um, they weren't nearly as interested in biting, so uh, I left them alone. But there also just weren't as many of them. So I decided it'd be best to uh, just use it as a scouting mission. Anyways, I'm headed back to my, uh, my exit. Beautiful. Beautiful spot, I love this area. I love fishing this spot. And uh, yeah, I got my four fish. Um, Small ones, maybe four and a half pounds. I got two does, two bucks. The biggest buck is probably about seven pounds. Um, six and a half, seven in that category, which I'm happy about because I haven't got one that big yet this season. At least not a hatchery. Oh, I'm about ready to scramble up here. I gotta get going because it's gonna get dark in about an hour. And I've got my headlamp with me. Not a big deal, I've got my spot with me. But I'd rather be out of here by the time it gets dark. Plus I got a dinner date to get to, so I gotta bring some salmon for that. That's all I got for you guys today. I'm Chris, this is Farm Shop Projects. This wasn't really a project, but it's a lot of fun. So, see you guys on the river.